Can we hear it from Patty Hoy? Can we get a big round of applause for Patty? How great is she? Saludos, como están? Es un placer estar aquí con ustedes. It's a real pleasure to be here tonight with you all. Welcome to Nevada. We love seeing you here. Every single one of you being out here tonight on this summer night, taking your time gives me hope. It fills me with gratitude that you will have your voice heard. I also hate that we have to be here. I hate that today in our community there are people who are scared of going outside. I hate that there are mothers in my children's school who are afraid to bring their children to school in the morning. I hate that there are children going to bed tonight the same ages as my two, four, and seven-year-old alone on a cold floor. And I hate so much what is happening in this country and in our name to people who are coming here for the same reasons that my grandfather and your grandfather and your great-grandfather came here for, a better life. And I was so angry, I was so despondent, I was so disgusted by what was happening in our country that last year when I had a chance to serve this great city as mayor, I got invited to go down with a group of mayors. I went down with the mayor of LA and the mayor of New York and the mayor of Miami to go to the border to tell the president and the country that what was happening to families with the family separation process is un-American, it's unacceptable, and we will not stand for it. And when I went down there to represent this great city and represent this community and we were driving up to the detention facility in El Paso at the border and we were in a bus and we were surrounded by police cars who were escorting us and we were driving up and I saw the high fences and I saw the big walls and I saw the guards who were armed with military rifles. I got a pit in my stomach. I got the same pit in my stomach that I got the first time I had to go to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba to represent people who were put there for no reason. And I realized, and it made me so sad, that our country has militarized our immigration policy. And you listen to the rhetoric out of Washington, you listen to the rhetoric in this country, and we are treating children like enemy combatants. We have created a system. We're like Guantanamo. We put people where, that are stored away from the American people, away from transparency. We don't know the conditions. And we are told to trust our government. These are atrocities that are happening at the border. They're shameful. They're disgusting. The people that are perpetrating them are sick. But the reality is, friends, this moment is not about them. This moment is about us. This moment is about our character. This moment is about who we are. What are our values? Do we as Americans believe that all men and women are created equal? All men and women are created equal? Do we believe as Lady Liberty stands over there? in liberty and justice for all? Yeah. Do we believe in liberty and justice for all? Yeah. Martin Luther King, this is one of my favorite quotes, many of you have heard it. Martin Luther King <coughs> once told us, wrote to us, each and every single one of you, from a jail cell in a little town called Birmingham, he wrote a letter. And he said, this generation will repent, not just for the words and actions of the bad people, but for the appalling silence of the good people. The appalling silence of the good people. Are we gonna be silent? No! Will we be silent? No! We will not be silent, and it is so important that today and tomorrow and next day and every day, 
We have our voices heard. We have our voices heard in elections, and you better show up this November. You better show up not for the presidential, you better show up not for the statewide elections, you better show up for the local elections, because every election matters. You better show up and have your voices heard by giving money. Giving money because you have it, we have it, and those people who are being harmed in the name, in our name, need our help. You can have your voices heard by giving time, your time. And finally, you can have your voices heard with the rhetoric that we use with each other. With the way that we look into each other's eyes and each other's hearts and to the mothers that go to your schools, the people that you work with who drive in our streets, and you can look them in the eye and say, I see you. Te veo. I see you. And you are as important as anyone in this community. And your children are as important as my children, as your children, as your grandchildren. And that is how we will change this country. We will change it by starting to look at each other seeing each other, and working our asses off every single day to get these people out of office. Yeah! Our strength is our ability as a country, De Tocqueville said, to repair ourselves. Well, I say it's time to repair our souls, it's time to repair our hearts, and it's time to repair our countries. Thank you, Novato. Thank you for coming out. God bless you.